What's up, everybody? How y'all doing um, out there in YouTube land? I hope y'all enjoyed yourself. Those of you that came out to the um, LA Fit Expo, greatly appreciate each and every last one of you guys. If you stopped me, if you came up to show some, some, some support and some love, greatly appreciate each and every last one of you guys. Because I was there strictly to pay my respect to all of my supporters and new potential fans that stopped. Well, I can't say stopped by the booth because I ain't had no booth at all. I told you I was there for Saturday. I was a rolling booth. And I'm going to give you the rundown. Okay. So, me and Marquise, we walks into the venue. As soon as we walk in, we in that bitch. We in that bitch. Three armed guards. Well, I ain't gonna say he was armed, but he, he had some three big tall ass uh hired security or whatnot. I don't know what for. I ain't ever seen gangsters and felons and shit in a fitness world having hired security. Man. Especially when you got a crew of 15 or more supposedly uh, gangsters no here or there so I'm like alright we're going to start at one end Keith we're going to walk down to the other end so we started at one end as soon as we started at one end we made a stop I see Midwest Con first I text Midwest was like hey uh, where you at then, by the time he got ready to respond, I was already over his shoulders. <laughs> uh, no homo. But I was already um, at the booth. He was at the booth with Pops. Him and um, Samson. Pops, E.T. Flexer, and little brother Samson. So, I stopped there. I'm showing Pops some love, giving Pops a hug, giving Samson a hug, letting them both, letting them both know that I love them both dearly. I'll get me Wes his hug and everything, you know, because I love my brothers. I love them. So I'm, I'm like, I said, man, Wes, where uh, Jay Booth? Is his booth on the other side? Well, he said, man, I don't know. I, he moved it. He moved. He was like, wait a minute. He right there. So directly across from each other in the middle of the walkway was Jay Cutler on one side, CT Flexer on the next side. So I stood there to talk for about a good three minutes then i took a picture we all took a picture together by the time i was done taking a picture walked in their venue at 1 30 by the time i was done taking a picture just was getting swarmed by a lot of great supporters you know and of course i'm gonna take my time and talk to whoever you know without rushing them off i'm gonna hear their story I'm gonna get my feedback. I'm gonna tell them put parts of my story, which I already share my story with you guys, right? So I'm trying to get to Jay Cutler's booth to go see um, Angie, Jay's wife. Cause I love Angie. Like that's my girl, that's my sister. So I'm trying to go see Angie. I'm like, Angie, I'm about to go. And every time I got ready to go over there and it was literally in seconds to where it just piled up into a matter of like, I think like an hour and a half, close to two hours wind up going by. And it was just becoming more and more busier and busier and busier with everyone coming. So then, um, TD Smash stopped by. Um, then um, Joey Stax pulls up with, with the army. Let me tell you, before Joey pulled up, I had supporters coming up to me <laughs> saying they see Joey <laughs> walking around a venue, stop in front of where Big Boy Neil Matt, it was just like, you know, just doing him. A guy asked Joey to take a picture they had on this screen cartel stuff. Joey said, no, I can't take a picture with you while you wearing that type of stuff. Hey, I got to respect it. I got to respect it, period. You see? So, so then, um, Joey finally pulls up. 
I'm like, man, sit your ass down somewhere. I said, man, I'd had at least 10 people come up to me telling me that they see you going all through this motherfucker. But that's the thing. This is what I like about Joey Stacks, man. That dude, he's not showing any disrespect for one up in the venue. Very respectful. And he's not walking around there. Like some of the clips they might show on him when he's already blowing up and blowing his cool and all of that. I observe personally with my own eyes that those moments getting caught when a person and already pushed that certain button. You see what I'm saying? But just overall, the dude is real chill, laid back. You know, he's a funny dude. Really great energy and everything. So I was like, okay, I fucks with him even more now that we got to actually meet in person, you know. So now Joey there, Midwest Con there, TD Smash there. Now it's getting even more busier. And keep in mind, we in the middle of a walkway to where people's walking through. There's one older um, woman come up to me. She said, can I ask you a question? I said, sure. She said, why is there so many people waiting to take pictures with you? I said, um, uh, and then uh, Midwest said, that's my truck. <laughs> she said, okay, I feel like I should know you, but uh, she said, are you trouble? I said, don't believe what you hear. Trust everything that was told to you. <laughs> Confused her quick, right? <laughs> then she was like, wow, so you must be trouble. So then Marquise he in the background, she said, can I, can I take a picture with you? Like, I just got to take a picture with you because everybody want to take a picture with you. I said, sure. Marquise in the background, like, trouble, trouble. I said, now listen, there's some strong possibility if you post this picture of me, you're going to get quite a few people probably saying, why is you on that picture with that guy? She said, dang, so you, you, you like that? I said, nah, it's just, you know. I'm just letting you know that it's going to be certain peoples that might say that because there's certain peoples that just don't like Mack truck, you know, and that's acceptable because I don't want everyone liking me because I'm not in this for a popularity competition. So I didn't get the opportunity to walk around the venue at all. I wind up leaving up out of there by four. I had to creep up out of there, you know, and it was just getting um really overwhelming with all the different energies and everything no one said anything disrespectful i had a lot of um latinos hispanics come up they was like man the essays fuck with you mac we fuck with you the essays fuck with you hey eh? i was like man that's what's up you know and i expected because in my real in my real real life i always say you guys 85% of my close friends are freaking Mexicans, you know, and it is what it is, because why? That's how it was growing up as a child. We all grew up together. That's why with this new era that was going on with the war in between the blacks and the browns, I never, ever partaked in that. When we was out of school riots, the Mexicans against the blacks, I never, ever partaked in that not once in my life because I'm like I believe in this you don't fight against your friends and if you fight against them how could you consider those friends and if they not friends what is you really fighting for because you don't know this person why are y'all mad why are y'all that mad at each other what are you fighting for you know so I didn't get the opportunity to walk around Cali to see Cali because I was going to go by Cali boot and like I said in the video, I'd have seen him. He's one person in that venue that I can honestly say he ain't two-faced it. He got a lot of fake characteristics with hanging with Big Boy and all of that. And how he was taking shots at Midwest Kong and saying he wasn't and all that. That was a lot of fake shit, but it, he wasn't Chief Mosul. So, and then not only that, like Midwest Kong said about a month or so ago to me, 
he was like, big homie, that man, that nigga going through some stuff. So I, I got a little compassion for him because he going through some things because that stuff. I said, yeah, but that don't make excuses. I said, Pops had a whole heart transplant and he never once blamed anything on his heart transplant saying to tell everybody, don't do this, this the demon, this the devil and all that. It was like, you right. So, but taking a page out of his book, I would have acknowledged him, but I wasn't fit to go break bread to where we gonna hang out and all that, but I oughta acknowledge him, but I didn't have the opportunity to walk around nobody. I seen those who I wanted to see. I wanted to see Pop, Samson, Midwest, Kong, Jay Cutler, Angie, Dave, uh, Capone, and Daisy. They, they Them two little babies didn't wanna speak because they was eating a snack. But it's like, I, I got to see who I wanted to see. I just wanted to really enjoy the expo, but I didn't get the opportunity because um, I'm, I'm way more popular than I give myself credit. I'm way more a hot commodity than I give myself credit for. So I didn't get the opportunity to do that. But those that matter and those that mean something to me and those who are dear to me are the ones that I actually got to see. Every last one of them. Now, the video I put up with Cali Muscle and my story with no lines and with the I suck yo man. Now, one of the team 18 Wheeler's original, uh, Big Rick, he, he back out of the pen, he back out of prison or whatever, and you know, he, he back. So he went and he seen it and he was like, wow. He recorded the, sh the because he was letting me know what was cracking while I was coming down to go to the venue. And he was like, dude, you is not fit to believe this. The times have changed. Man, that video is something sad to see. It's something sad to see. And it's only because he did it to himself attacking all these different brands and companies, attacking the whole fitness community and everything, attacking his own supporters, calling them idiots, stupid, dumb, and all that. It showed that, you know, they are not pleased with what he have become. Now he can redeem that, but he gotta do some real soul searching. He gotta do some real soul searching. He can redeem that though. You know, he a veteran. He know what it is. He know what he got to do. He just need to do it. And that should open his eyes up real wide how Strict Cartel them had it jerking down there, meaning popping, cracking, had it going on. And they was on the same aisle and they couldn't send nobody down his way. They, you know, I doubt it if they even walked down there by him the, the, the post up waiting for a little while to let his traction build up because that's what a real one like me would have done you know because by us being in the middle between ct and j and that big crowd building up in the middle like that that still helped everyone that was in that little section booth because we was blocking so much stuff it had people's coming stopping trying out different things because we was there you know and that's what you want to do. You want to be able to go in the room, go in the building, and no one be jealous, intimidated, or threatened by you. They just want to see what it is about you and your charisma to where the people's want to just be a part of what you got going on. That's the type of person you want to be. I told y'all, I'm back, baby. I'm back lit up. I'm back lit up, period. I'm back lit up. And it's only up from here. It is only up from here. It is only up from here. Those that see me in person, they like, woo, they see. Mac Truck is a tall, little feet, big motherfucker. Those of you that goes on my Instagram page, y'all see it. I'm a tall, little feet, big motherfucker. See what I'm saying? And I'm only getting better. I'm only getting better. Anywho. I'm gonna try to see if I can narrow down some of these pictures and clips to slide on this when I get back to the crib, but I'm recording this right now. Freeway is wide open. And when I get back to the crib, I'm gonna try to see if I can 
take some of the pictures and stuff or whatever and, and compress into this on this video so y'all can see a little sign sign. Anyway, till next time, I'll smell you guys later. Those of you who like the video, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification if you're not subscribed. And if you subscribe, hit the notification so you can stay tuned on everything that's going on. The channel is growing. The channel is finally catching fire to grow. And it would not have happened without you great people sharing my content. I see the algorithm. I see that my videos are being shared a whole lot more. Thank you. Greatly appreciate each and every last one of you guys. About to go in this gym and murder some legs. Me murder for fun. Remember I told you, you owe me one year, the big vacation. Go fuck a fat Jamaican post, mega nigga, that odd like rock crawling. Ha ha. Kick, kick, kick.